fly 747 high I'm never choking, steady smoking like that Devin guy Or is it Wiz player, you know what it is I just rolling up with that fire and I take it to the wind Now I'm high as shit, high as shit And I'm rolling slow And I grab the Sprite, grab the Sprite And pull up some more Sipping Texas champagne Blowing California dro Yes, your pie, no sicko, man I got that Arizona flow All the smoke is that potent weed Also burning that platinum wax Two, what's good? It's your boy GZ509 Coming at you with another vid Before we get started, you already know the deal Hit that like that subscribe and that notification bell so you notified anytime your boy GZ uploads some content. Shout out to my real ones. I'll pray for my fake ones. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. And as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, your boy GZ got some Funko Pop pickups. And that's what we're going to get to. But before we get started with that, man, I want to take this time right here. A moment of silence for the man, the myth, the legend. R.I.P. Mamba, my condolences go out to you and your family. Prayers to you guys. Um, you know, not only was uh, Kobe Bryant an excellent basketball player, um, he was also a father, you know, a friend, a brother, a husband. He was all those things before he was a basketball player. And I just want, you know, to pour out my feelings to you guys, man. I feel what you guys are going through. Um, when you lose a family member or, or any, anybody like that, a dad, a husband or anything like that, or wife, it, it is really, really tough on the family, man. So I know what you guys are going through. I've been through it myself. Um, but man, just, you know, keep your guys' head high. And I want to just take this time before I start in with these Funko Pops to go ahead and do a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant, man. And a 17 time. NBA All-Star, the third highest scorer in NBA history, the 2008 MVP, two-time NBA Finals MVP, five-time NBA champion, a 6'6 six -six guard from Lower Marion High School, where he won the title. the planes we flew good things we've been through that i'll be standing right here talking to you about another path i know we love to hit the road and laugh but something told me that it wouldn't last had to switch up look at things different see the bigger picture those were the days hard work forever pays now i see you in a better place see you in a better place ah uh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. With that being said, guys, let's get into these Funko Pops, man. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to do it how we always do it, guys. Uh, the lighting is kind of fucked right now because it's really dark over here in Spokane, Washington, man. But let's get into this. All right, guys, let's get into the first pop. The first pop is going to be that Harley Quinn. As you guys can see, man, she got her blonde hair. She got the tattoos on the leg right here. And this is Pop 308. And this is Harley Quinn and Beaver. And you guys can see the little beaver right here, guys. Do, 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 do. Wearing a little tutu and stuff. Looking real sleek. Dope pop, in my opinion, guys. I seen this one at Target and I was like, I had to get this one, guys. Very dope, in my opinion. As you guys can see, there's other ones that are in here. There's like three other uh, Harley Quinns and a few other characters. But this is from that movie that's supposed to be coming out here soon. If it hasn't came out already, I'm not sure. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but it's called Bird of Prey. Birds of Prey. Here's the artwork, guys. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think of this pop, guys. Oh man, it looks like my pop is a little banged up, but that's okay. 
because I don't really give a fuck about my pop boxes, guys. All right, moving right along, let's get into another pop. This is, oh yeah, we're gonna get into this one right here. This one right here, guys, was a very dope pop. In my opinion, I seen people posting it on IG and posting it on, on face or not on Facebook. Well, yeah, on Facebook too. I'm in a Facebook uh, Funko Pop group too as well. But uh, on YouTube, and I seen a lot of reviews on this, and I was like, man, I gotta get this. This is the Funko Club exclusive right there. This is Pop 539, and this is Raiden from Mortal Kombat, and this is a games pop. Um, very dope. I'm not really big into Mortal Kombat, but when your boy GZ used to play back in the day, this was the man that I used to use, and this is that man Raiden. Very dope, in my opinion. Here's the artwork, and uh, you know I don't even have to ask you guys how you guys feel about this one, because I know you guys know that this is Fuego. Very Fuego, in my opinion. And like I said, see, like those other guys, you know, I ain't fucking with Scorpion, I ain't fucking with Sub Sub Zero or Liu Kang, man. I ain't fucking with any of those. I got the dude that I wanted to get, and that's it. You know what I mean? That's all it is to it. So you guys, let me know how you feel about that pickup. <clears throat> Next on the list, when I got the Raiden Pop, I did pick this up. And they had a few other ones. I might have to go back and get those ones. And this is that Betsy Ross Pop 810. And this is the Purge Election Year. And this is a movies pop, guys. So, you know, I'm pretty sure if you guys follow me on IG, you've seen that I posted this up. There's a lot of details on this pop. That's the reason why I had to get it. Looks like she's wearing like a little bonnet. And uh, you can see that mask. That mask is dope right there. It's an American flag. And then it has blood dripping down off her machete. And she's wearing like a little cute dress. Very dope in my opinion, guys. I had to pick this up in my sick and demented ways. I had to get it. And like I said, you guys can see all the other ones that are in the collection. I'm definitely going to have to go back and get those guys. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Maybe not the bear. But the rest of them I need to get, man, for sure, for sure. You guys let me know how you guys feel about that. There's that artwork. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments, guys. Next up, guys, let's see. Well, let's go with this guy right here. And this one is The Silence of the Lambs. This is Hannibal Lecter, pop number 788. And this is a movies pop, guys. Uh, very dope in my opinion. I'm finally, I'm, ex excuse the glare guys, but I'm so happy that I finally got this in the collection guys. Uh, I think I seen a uh, shout out to, uh, McFly KOF. I think I seen this in one of his Funko Pop videos. Um, this is very dope guys. I know they had one at GameStop and I was checking it out. I almost pulled the trigger, but he's in the same suit, but it's just plain Jane. There ain't nothing fancy about it or anything like that. And if anybody has watched Silence of the Lambs, you know what scene that's from guys. One of my favorite scenes in that movie. Um, very dope. You can see he's wearing like the little prison outfit, which is all white and stuff, but it has that blood splatter all over his face, around his mouth, and all around that cover right there, guys. That is so dope, guys. I had to get this. So I'm glad I got this in the collection, guys. Y'all let me know how you feel about this pop and how you feel about this movie, guys. There's the artwork. As you guys can see, there's the, uh, the movie cover right there. Very dope, very dope. All right, moving right along, guys. Now, these ones right here, this was a highly anticipated Funko Pop for your boy, Jeezy. This right here was, I think I had pre-ordered these in May, back in May. And there was a controversy going on with them, guys. They didn't know if they were going to release, you know, for copyright rights and and then it got pushed out, and then it was just, it was just a big hassle. So I didn't know if I was ever gonna get these pops. But I'm so glad I finally got them in the collection. You got Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset. All of them are fucking dope as fuck, guys. You got Pop 110, 109, and 108. And I mean, they are lit, guys. They're wearing you know all their their stuff. They look just like them, guys. Like Offset, he's wearing some designer shoes. Looks like he's wearing like a Gucci uh, hoodie on there. You know, very dope. 
He got, uh, it looks like uh, uh, Quavo is wearing some uh, Balenciaga, some all black uh, Balenciagas. Not the ones that look like socks, but the other ones. Um, same with uh, Takeoff. Looks like he's wearing some Balenciagas. Very dope. He's, he has that stack of cash, their jewelry. You know, they did good with his glasses. I took them out of the box to check them out and shit. Very dope in my opinion, guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys think these are very dope too. You know, you guys let me know down in the comments how you felt about the Migos Pops, man. So I'm really glad I finally got these in the collection, guys. Very dope. No need to look at the back because your boy Jeezy got the whole collection. I'm moving right along. Let's see what we got here. Now, these ones right here. So... Uh, I'll go ahead and throw them both on there, but we're going to throw one of them out of there real quick. So... I got these guys right here, and you guys excuse, excuse the glare, but I went and picked, I went to go see at my GameStop to see if they had these, because I know they had, there was a pre-order, I didn't know that they were going to get these at my GameStop, um, I did pre-order the POC from uh, Mandrel Toys and Collectibles, and I also pre-ordered the FYE exclusive that's going to be coming out here in a couple of weeks or so. Um, but I did not know that my GameStop was going to get them. So I went to go check. And sure enough, they had uh, the Tupac Shakur. So I had to get them because I fuck with Tupac Heavy, man. I was showing love because, you know, I'm over here on that west side. You feel me? So I had to pull the trigger on Pac. But when I was picking up Pac, dude was like, yo... We got this uh, Notorious B.I.G. here, too. You want that? And it was the last one. And I really don't fuck with Biggie like that. You know, no disrespect to him. But I just I just don't fuck with Biggie like that, man. So with that being said, man, let's throw this dude off the stage. Because to me, he has no reason to be on the same stage as this man right here. But, man, y'all let me know how you feel about Tupac Shakur, the Funko Pop, the man, the, his music, everything. Let me know down in the comments, guys, because I fuck with Tupac Heavy. I did get this particular Funko Pop for and the Biggie uh, Funko Pop for my wife. Um, she's a bigger Tupac uh, fan than I am. She got the tattoo of him and everything. Very dope, in my opinion, man. So I'm glad I got this in the collection for her. I can't wait to get mine. But y'all let me know how you feel about Pac and this pop. There we go with that. On to the next one, guys. And this is the one with all the controversy that's going on in IG for your boy Jeezy. If you guys follow me on IG, you guys seen that I cooked on this particular pot, guys. Uh, so <clears throat> I had a birthday uh, birthday party that we had to go to. So I went to go get some presents and wrapping paper and all that at Walmart. And I pulled up and looked in their Funko Pop section and I seen this guy on display with a bunch of other ones. And so I picked up this one, guys, because uh, I'm not a type of person that's going to go and buy out a bunch of Funko Pops. going to let everybody else get what they need to get and how they get it. You feel me? But as I posted the picture, I get back home and my IG got blowing the fuck up up guys straight like that uh motherfuckers is like yo you got that i need that i need that so <clears throat> after the birthday party guys i head back there and we will go to we'll turn the camera around and i'll show you guys what i got and what i'm doing for my funko family guys it's crazy because you know out here in spokane we don't get shit like this uh not exclusive shit like this. Like I've always told you guys, when it comes to sneakers, Funkos, anything like that, we ain't getting it here, man. Unless it's a high general release, that's the only time we would get that. So let me flip this camera around, and then we're going to talk about what I got for everybody, and we'll go on from there, man. All right, guys, man. So I'm about to end this video, man. But anyways, with what I was saying about this whole situation with this, man, this pop right there. I posted this on IG, a picture of this, and like I said, it got crazy. So I ended up going back. I think I got hit up by Mike G, um, Ron G, you know, uh, 210 got kicks, and, and Retro Wiz, all of them started hitting me up. So I went back, 
picked up I think five more um, broke the bank at uh, the, the first Walmart then in the morning I got up I got a, a text from one of my homies um, out here man shout out to Preezy Loke um, he hit me up and he was like yo there's another one over here at Shadow Park which is another area or here in Spokane so I head over there souped up about five of them I grabbed an extra one um, and then I started heading home and the homie Steve Freeman calls me up. He's all, yo, I need one of those, bro. So I, you know what I mean? It, you know, so I turn around. That's just how I am, man. You know, I'm trying to help everybody out, hook everybody up, man. But these, uh, <laughs> these fucking, uh, Walmart exclusive Michael Jordan Funko Pops, man, day is out of stock here in Spokane. I done broke the bank. Um, tomorrow, guys, anybody that's, uh, I've, uh, DM'd and everything, I got all your guys' information right here, um, written on a paper. Tomorrow, I will, after I get off of work, I'll definitely, uh, ship out your guys' product. If I don't ship it out, uh, Monday, I'll definitely ship it out Tuesday, but I'm definitely gonna ship some out on Monday. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this video, man. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for fucking with your boy. Much respect. Stay blessed and on to the next. Peace.